Hello friends, welcome to a new 3ds Max tutorial. This is Gökçe from cgk.com and today we are going to learn uh, more about editable spline and we have a very important subject actually. Let's just uh, start drawing uh, a random line like this. Uh, what I want to show you today is to how to give thickness to this line in here. So if you go to rendering, you have two options in here, enable and render, enable and viewport. If you click both of them, you will see that we have a thickness around the spline. Uh, you can use this to create uh, pipes, you can use this to create ropes, you can use this to create cables, you can use these, uh, this option to create baseboards uh, as well. Uh, whatever uh, comes into mind, because you can change the uh, cross-section shape actually. It, it sh uh, doesn't have to be radial, you can change it to a rectangular uh, section as well. We have some uh, options in here, you can change the thickness as you can see. You can change the sides, uh, which I'll see if I hit F4, these side segments in here. You can change the count of that, as you can see, and create different shapes uh, with this as well. Uh, let's leave it at 12 for now. You can change the angle, as you can see, it can rotate around the, uh, the uh, spline, base spline. Uh, of course, with 12 sides, it doesn't make any difference, but if this is a triangle, you, you could see that how this could be useful, right? Okay, so uh, you can change this to a rectangular cross section as I told you. You can change the length and the width of this uh, section. Again, you can change the angle. And you can just input the aspect as well. Uh, the, these Inputting these two will do the work, but if you want, you can do this as well. Uh, so uh, we have an auto smooth option in here, which smooths the uh, edges. Of this, if you increase this beyond 90, you can see that we have a smoothing operation going on in here. Uh, I'll get this back to two, uh, four, uh, 45. And uh, twist correction, uh, this uh, helps with the uh, rotation of these splines. If it twists, you can correct it uh, clicking this. Uh, I never found this that much useful, but you can click on this cap option to open up the uh, end surfaces as you can see, and this could be useful because then you can just add a shell on top of this, for example, and create more interesting different shapes with this, okay? You can even add a slice modifier, for example, and remove the top, and you can see the inner sides of this. Maybe we could add another cap modifier and cap these openings as well, but whatever, we will uh, use these to di model different things later on. Uh, for now, I'm just, I just wanna show this to you uh, as a theoretical. Uh, subject. So if I uh, click on quad cap, I guess this, yeah, what this does is it uh, bevels the ends as you can see. And uh, this could be very useful as well. I guess this is a new option. I've never seen this before. Uh, I just started using 2020, so uh, there are some things uh, I missed, I guess. Okay, this is uh, what enable render, enable viewport is. Um, actually, I wanted to show something to you, how I create baseboards with this. Uh, let's disable these for now. And I want to add an edit spline on top of this. Select this outline in here and just create an outline from here. Then I want to add an extrude. Uh, let's increase this like this. Uh, let's input actual sizes actually in here. Let's, uh, this should be a room with 500 and 500 centimeters. Let's delete this edit spline and add it again. I want the thickness to be 20 this time. I want to input real values in here. And actually, before we outline this, let's delete this face and then outline this. That way we will be able to see the uh, inner sides of this. Okay, and let's input the extrude 300 centimeters. So this is a standard five by five room, okay? And now if I go to spline, uh, shape splines line, and hit S to activate the snaps, and then just create a inner line like this. And then let's enable and render, enable and viewport. Let's set this to be rectangular and maybe move this up a little bit. Uh, sorry, I need to hit S to disable it again. Uh, or you can just... 
I can just adjust it from here as well. Yeah. If I hit input 4, uh, maybe it's not exactly 4 because this is not exactly 8. Okay. Now you can see that we have a baseboard for the room. Okay. And uh, if you, uh, I'm going to show this uh, to you later on, but if you want to uh, create uh, different or more interesting cross sections uh, in here, uh, what you can do is you can add a sweep on top of this. And if you add this, you will be able to play with more options. Like I want to make this sit from this corner, for example. Okay. Uh, let's bring this down. Yeah. And then I can change the shapes. As you can see, it could be a bar, it could be a channel, it could be a uh, quarter round, for example. Whatever shapes you want to create, you can do it with sweep. Actually, you can use custom shapes as well, but this is a little bit advanced. I'm going to show this to you in a later lesson. Uh, thanks for listening. Hope this was useful. If you find it useful, please uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, uh, hit the notification bell, all that good stuff. Thank you for listening. See you in the next lesson.